Wendy is a drifter, homeless, and her origins, family background, and backstory are vague. She intends to find work when she reaches Alaska, tightly budgeting the minute amount of money she has. The only loyal company she has in her life is Lucy, a trustworthy dog. Running low on dog food, Wendy goes to a nearby store and is caught shoplifting. Arrested, Wendy is made to leave Lucy tied up outside the front of the store. When Wendy returns, Lucy is nowhere to be found. This is Kelly Reichardt. That's Wendy and Lucy, a quiet, subtle, minimalist drama focusing on Wendy's personal and financial breakdown in her struggle to reach Alaska. Not helped by the loss of the single reliable constant in her life, Lucy the dog. The bond between human and dog is, at its best, a powerful expression of unconditional love, respect and loyalty. Lucy trusts Wendy to protect and provide for her food, water, love and comfort, while Wendy trusts Lucy to be the companion she always needs. It is a quietly emotional connection between the two characters that any compassionate dog owner can relate and account for. It is a friendship that transcends language and species. The film also depicts homelessness realistically. Demonstrating the intuition necessary to function while homeless. In need of money, Wendy gathers discarded bottles and intends to trade them into the local recycling centre in return for some spare change. Although she eventually gives these bottles away to another person in the queue for the recycling centre, it is a testament to Wendy's intuition and generosity that she considers recycling for money as an option. During another scene in need of privacy, Wendy reaches a gas station and is given access to the customer restroom, where she washes herself beside the sink, brushing her teeth and using the opportunity to also change her clothes. Unable to afford much of anything, Wendy is using her quick thinking ability, something which is likely to also have become very routine for her, and grasps for the opportunities to find privacy or earn a little extra money to keep herself going until she reaches Alaska. This depiction is realistic, preserving the awkwardness and mild desperation in needing simple resources, which many of us take for granted such as money, running water, or a toilet, the type of resources that Wendy isn't able to frequently rely on. When Wendy is arrested for shoplifting, the moment feels very weighted, pushed to the desperate decision to steal, something Wendy wouldn't do if she had the monetary budget. She is caught and held responsible, as if being punished for homelessness and poverty. The fact that Wendy is on her own when she returns to find Lucy is missing emphasises that Wendy's independence is motivated by Lucy companionship. Wendy's loneliness and vulnerability without Lucy the dog feels more devastating than any previous scene. Wendy's determination to search for Lucy wherever she can, no matter how vague or scant the leads might be, is upsetting yet inspiring. We want to see Wendy reunited with Lucy, their friendship preserved, but seeing Wendy's dedication to her canine friend is a beautiful expression of her love. Wendy does not want to give up on finding Lucy, and we as the viewers truly are hoping for the best. When Wendy and Lucy do finally reunite, Lucy is in the backyard of a residency that Wendy doesn't recognise implying that Lucy was found and taken in by another person. Although their bond is unconditional, Lucy recognising Wendy and vice versa as they meet again through the fence. After a few quick games of fetch, Wendy recognises something devastating. Somebody else is now able to provide for Lucy more than Wendy ever could. Wendy leaves Lucy in the backyard, drifting to another town with the upsetting yet truthful knowledge that she couldn't provide a home for Lucy. It's an emotionally challenging moment where Wendy is made to give up a best friend and continue on towards Alaska alone. Wendy likely knows that Lucy would be better off left behind. It leaves Kelly Reichardt's powerful drama concluding on a gently draining low note that the compassionate dog lovers in the audience will feel like a pit in their stomachs. Wendy keeping her devastation to herself makes this film the most silent of tragedies. In conclusion, Wendy and Lucy, with its quaint atmosphere and observance for true-to-life Americana, effectively chronicles the loss of love via the unconditionally loving bond between dog and dog owner. With restraint, Wendy sacrifices her personal needs for the needs of her best friend, portraying a pure selflessness that is upsetting yet admirable. As the audience, we hope for things to improve for Wendy, and yet in the long run, she's done the right thing for Lucy, putting her best friend's needs ahead of her own.